Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to Team Forbidden's YouTube page again. It is Andrew the Collector here. As we all know, the ban uh, new ban list just recently dropped, and I am here to bring you the top five meta decks post this ban list and Photon Hypernova. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first one I have on my list is going to be number five, is going to be Flunderies. Yes, Barrier Statue did get hit. Yes, it is such a detriment to Flunderies player, myself included, I am sorry about it, but in a way it kind of had to be, because um, it was kind of a uh, a future hit for Kashira because they were going to use the, uh, the Raid Raptor Exceed Monster to special summon it out from the deck, and it was just going to be a whole detriment um, to the uh, to people, you know, going against the deck. Because they have enough to contend with with um, all the new cashier cards, they don't need a barrier statue on top of on top of everything else. Um, but the reason why Flunderies is in, in my top five is because I uh, M Pen control is still good. They still have M Pen. They still have Apex Avion. They have their continuous spell that lets you tribute your opponent's cards instead of your own. Plus, they still have the Harpy's Feather Storm, which is an insanely broken card. So. M pen plus that face down I mean you're raring for a good time plus they have access to uh, dimensional shifter which any deck that can that can main deck that deserves to be in a special place in this current format but um, just because storm winds is banned um, Eric the cyborg actually found a combo to where you can use small world uh, to use on uh, Rubina and M Pen to search out the water barrier statue. And M Pen's effect allows you to normal summon any monster. It doesn't have to be a wing, a wing beast like uh, Rubina or, or uh, Eaglen. It can be any monster. So if you have that in your hand uh, from the start, or if you search it out successfully with Small World, you're able to get that out as well at the end of the chain. And number four is going to be Sprite. Uh, more specifically, the Sprite engine with any deck that it can that it can utilize it can be sprite a uh, pure sprite it can be runic sprite uh, tri brigade sprite frog sprite but i'm gonna put officially in this spot i'm gonna put gishki sprite it's making headway in the ocg but because of sprite elf uh, being banned over here not really sure how it's gonna function but the way i see it gishki sprite still has a chance in the format um it could go higher on the list. It could be wiped off the top five. We'll just have to wait and see until the new support out uh, comes out. But I highly recommend that you um, keep this deck on your mind because it can pull out some crazy boards if you are not fully prepared for it. And number three, Scott's going to like this one. It's going to be Branded. Now, this is not just like Despia Branded. It can be any deck that utilizes the Branded or Despia engine um, you know, as a whole because they recently got new fusion support in Photon Hypernova, which is a big boost to uh, to it as a whole with those two new fusion monsters. But uh, the Tri-Brigade variant, the Fusion variant, the Despia variant, the Masquerade Burn variant, I mean, it's, it's all good stuff because um, Branded Fusion is still a heck of a card. You can even do the Shadal package if you want. There's just so much potential in this... Um, in this deck with so many different fusion variants. You can even throw it in the Dark World variant if you want. I mean, it's still an option because they have a fusion monster now, but keep this deck on your mind and definitely uh, side deck those dimensional barriers because they're going to be a big help in this coming format. And number two, you are actually going to be surprised about this. It's going to be Tier Element. Yes, Tier Element got shafted really hard on this last on the, on the this list. Seven of their main deck monsters are limited. Their fusion monster is now banned. It it was Sprite Elf because some of some of the variants were using utilizing Sprite Elf. It just got hit really hard. But does that mean that the deck is completely gone? Absolutely not, because they're getting a new main deck monster, the Cash Tier Tier Element, which is definitely going to be a three of in every one of those decks. That card is going to single handedly keep that deck afloat. Pun. Um, for the foreseeable future. So definitely keep that in mind. They got hit really hard, but they are still going to be around. I guarantee it. And number one, best meta... It's Kashira. 
I mean, who thought it wasn't going to be Kashira? I mean, they're getting a whole bunch of new support in Photon Hypernova. Their uh, end boards are extremely crazy, and they have so much potential going going into the new format. They have a walking macrocosmos on legs. They have the Shangri-La. They have Fenrir. They have Unicorn. They even, even have Ogre. They can even utilize the Scareclaw and Tear Element monster. I've been playtesting the deck online for a while now, and I can tell you for a fact it's fun, and it can play through almost any kind of inter as many interruptions as possible. Say, for example, Nibiru. Nibiru is probably the one thing that is going to hurt it most most of the time during your turn. But during their turn, you they can use Book of Eclipse, Book of Lunar Eclipse. They can use Lava Golem. It's a great deck, but it also has a fair amount of weaknesses. So definitely keep that in mind if you're going up against it or if you're going to be using it in the upcoming format. But that's it for the top five meta deck. Um, if you guys have any, um, any uh, comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. And stay tuned for um, two other videos for the top rogue and top uh, budget decks for upcoming format. That's it, and we will see you guys next time.